everybody, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Katie, I live in Orlando and I make all shop with me videos, typically at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Target, Walmart. I love to do a lot of home decor videos, but I also love to do like grocery hauls and other fun shopping videos like that. So if you love shopping videos of any kind, whether it be like home goods, home decor, anything to do with Target, or just hauls in general, or if you just like to see what other people spend their money on, then you should definitely give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, we have a little bit of a situation going on. So Brian and I just got back from a 10 or 11 day trip. We went to Charleston and then we went to Ocean City, Maryland to spend time with Brian's family, which was amazing. But we came back to Florida and we've just kind of had a little bit of a slew of bad luck. We got into the airport, Brian's car wouldn't start, AAA took like seven hours to tow his car. Um, and then we found out that there's a hurricane coming. So we've been gone for 11 days and we have literally no food. So today's video is going to be a grocery shop with me post vacation stock up as well as hurricane prep. Hurricane season is just kind of beginning here and we live in Florida like I said. We do live pretty inland so it's pretty rare that we actually get hit with a bad hurricane but it's always good to be prepared because it has happened. So it is Hurricane Elsa that is coming, which is hilarious because we live in Orlando right behind Disney, so there's been tons of jokes and memes. As of right now, Elsa isn't on a direct path to hit us, but if the hurricane veers right at all, which it still has plenty of time to do, we will be getting hit. And regardless, we'll still get high winds and tons of rain, and we just don't have any food. So today's video, we're gonna be getting tons of groceries. We're actually gonna be going to, I think, three different stores because I'm downtown in Orlando right now, so I'm actually gonna hit up Freshfield Farms, which is this amazing little like farmer's market almost. So one side is meat and they have the best prices, and then the other side is produce, same thing, amazing prices. It comes right from the farms and the prices are just unbeatable, so I wanted to come here and stock up while I was in the area. We're also gonna hit up Publix and then I think Walmart. So definitely trying to maximize our savings this week because we spent a lot of money on vacation. But let's head into the first store, which is Freshfield Farms. I'm not really sure how much I'm gonna wanna film or be able to film. Um, this is like a really small store and it's like very like farmer's markety. So I don't wanna make anyone uncomfortable, but let's head in and I will show you what I can and definitely stay tuned to the end for a giant grocery haul. Okay, so here is the sign. If you happen to live in Central Florida, Orlando, the main street it's off of is East Michigan but it's just the best store. So like I was saying, it's actually broken up into two sides. So it's the meat side as well as the fresh produce side. And in the middle, there's actually like an ice cream stand. But yeah, we're gonna start actually over here on the produce side. When you walk in, there is a board of everything they have and just all the fresh produce. Like six lemons for $2. But then also they have 10 limes for $3. Like. The, what? What's really cool about Fresh Fields as well is that you'll find a lot of like exotic fruits. They have dragon fruit for $5.49. They also always have stuff that I have never heard of before. So if you are interested in like trying new things, these types of stores are great for that. So not too much stuff on the produce side. Just kind of grabbing a lot of our basics. What's cool too is that they also do like bulk beans and stuff as well as like the fresh peanut butter and fresh nuts and fresh local honey. Okay, so my total in the first store was 36.37, which is really good for all that stuff. Plus they gave me a free coupon for a free ice cream, which I'm not gonna eat, but that was super nice. And now we're heading into the meat section. So they do prepared foods as well. So they're still raw, but they like season them and stuff them for you. They do like wings, stuffed chickens, um, like salmon pinwheels. They also do ribs. I don't feel like this stuff is a good deal, so I'm gonna pass on it, but they have that too. All right, mission accomplished at the first store. Two more stores to go to. Mission accomplished there. The next store I wanna go to is Publix. I love shopping at Publix. It's such a nice grocery store, but it's really, really expensive. But Bubblies are on sale this week. Buy one, get one free. That's what I was told. So we're gonna go there so we can stock up on Bubbly. We probably go through like eight cans a day, which is like one case, because a case of Bubbly is only eight cans and not 12. Even if it was 12, we'd probably still go through a case a day. I'm addicted. And if we're trapped in the house for a few days with crazy rain, I wanna make sure we're stocked up. 
So let's head to Publix and see if we can get our hands on a bunch of cases of bubbly. And then I'll check out the other BOGOs if there's anything else BOGO that we are already looking to buy. I will get that too. But the rest I'll probably end up getting at Walmart because it's definitely the cheapest grocery store in our area. Jackpot. They even have a new flavor. Coconut pineapple, which to me sounds gross. It does sound like a good cocktail mixer, but I'm pretty much about to buy like all of this. Okay, the plan has changed. I have decided to just shop at Publix because I already got a lot of stuff at the other stores. So here I just kind of need a couple things and it'll just be easier to shop here. I feel like I'll spend more in gas to like go to another store than I will in the difference of the price of groceries. So I'm actually just gonna get everything at Publix. We are in the canned food aisle, which is still super stocked. I feel like, you know, people aren't really freaking out about this, but I just wanna get stuff now to be prepared for the future. They seem to be a little bit low on chicken stock. I was able to find two of the reduced sodium ones, but that seems to be an item people are grabbing for. We really enjoy making our own soup, and that's definitely something I could see us doing in the next few days, especially if it's like rainy and we can't go outside. So that's why I wanted to grab the chicken stock. This has escalated quickly. All right, let's get this home, and I will haul it up for you guys. Okay, just got home have it all laid out and we're going to quickly go over everything I got and I will tell you the total. Okay, I wanna just quickly go over everything so that I can get it put away. That's definitely the most stressful part of a grocery haul is like having to lay it all out and film it when you're like, this has to go away in the fridge. So quickly, I'm just gonna go over everything with you. I'm gonna start with the cold stuff as always and then move our way towards like cans and like prepackaged foods. I also did mix together everything from Fresh Fields and Publix. Um, so I will let you know like where things are from as we go, but I kind of mix it all together because I have it categorized by like meats, dairy, produce, and then um, prepared foods. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just gonna grab the first thing that is on top and it is this smoked turkey breast. I picked this up at Fresh Fields. They already have it there sliced for you and it was a lot. This is a pound of turkey for $5. So I felt like that was a pretty good deal, but also I have no idea because I've never eaten cold cuts in my life. But seems like a good deal and it'll be easy for like sandwiches weirdly enough we actually like to cook the turkey in a pan first so it like gets a little bit crispy that probably sounds so weird but you should definitely try it if you're like me and you don't like cold cuts I find that cold cuts can be a little bit slimy but when you cook them they are not slimy and they taste delicious like with honey mustard like little sandwiches so good next up I grabbed a thing of ground chicken it was one and a half pounds it was five dollars Maybe it would have been cheaper at Publix, actually. The ground turkey, I felt like it was really expensive, so I got ground chicken instead. But we'll use this for tacos or whatever we decide to use it for. You can use it for like omelets in the morning. Just a really good thing to have around. Lastly for me, I picked up two huge packs of these chicken tenderloins. These are such a good deal. You get three pounds um, for $11. Well, they're like what by the pound, but I got two packs that are around $11. There's so many chicken tenderloins in here. That's my favorite part of the chicken. Um, or I like to like cut breasts into the shape of tenderloins, but we typically buy these and these were such a good deal at Fresh Fields. So I got a whole bunch of it. This will definitely last us like a week or two. Probably gonna end up putting some in the freezer. Um, and this was like under $25 for a bunch of chicken. Chicken. Oh, actually under $20 because the other one's only nine, but yeah, ton of chicken. Super easy to cook in the air fryer, on the stove, roasted in the oven. The air fryer is definitely our favorite. We'll cook it, sometimes we like throw it in with a little bit of breadcrumbs and then we have like a ton of condiments to dip it in and they're like healthy little chicken tenders. Okay, I feel like if I don't stop telling you a story about every single thing, we're gonna be here for a million hours. So quickly moving on, a couple of frozen items. I got a bag of cut leaf spinach, perfect for smoothies. And then I got two bags of the broccoli florets. This size bag is perfect because it's a good enough amount for Brian and I. Favorite way to cook this is again in the air fryer with a little bit of the olive oil spray, salt and pepper, whatever else you wanna throw on it. Perfect in the air fryer. They get like crispy on the outside. If you've never had air fried broccoli, I highly recommend. Next up, I did grab a whole bunch of the Chobani yogurts. They were 10 for 10. I grabbed blueberry, raspberry, black raspberry, or blackberry. I always say black raspberry, but it's blackberry, and then a couple strawberry as well. So we got 10 of these. Why am I like this? 
Next up we have our favorite. If you are not new here, you would know we are obsessed with Yasuo bars. They didn't have the chocolate chip cookie dough ones, which are our favorite, but they did have our other favorite, which was the fudge brownie, so I decided to pick up a box. Also decided to grab our favorite creamer, which is this Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Sweet Cream one. It's so good if you've never tried it. I'm normally not a big fan of coffee creamers. Like I don't like the way they taste and I feel like one drop shouldn't make my whole cup of coffee like white, but this one is really good. So if you're looking for a new creamer, if you like sweet cream and not like any other good crazy flavor, this one is really, really good and it's not like too sweet. So highly recommend this. Also grabbed a thing of the Silk Protein Milk. We love this stuff. It is 20 grams of protein in one cup. So that's really, really good. Really good to have with like a smoothie or just like as an after workout little thing. It makes you really full little thing. An after workout little thing. Just like a little like post workout shake or whatever. It tastes really, really good. It doesn't taste like really overly proteiny like a lot of protein shakes. So this one is super good. Also grabbed a thing of egg whites and a thing of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. So we are definitely all stocked up on milks for the hurricane. Now we are gonna move into produce. I'm gonna quickly run through everything I grabbed from produce. Some of it is from Freshfield, most of it actually, and then some is from Publix. Freshfields, that first store I went to, actually does have some packaged foods, but I just prefer to pick those up at Publix because you can typically get a deal on stuff like these salad bags. So these were two for six. I don't like these, but Brian likes them. So I got him an avocado ranch one and a Southwest one. I just don't like chopped salad like that. I feel like it's really hard to eat. Like I want to eat it with a spoon. So not my favorite, but Brian really likes them and they were on sale. So I picked up one each of these and these are perfect lunches for him. Lunches for me, I love the leafy green romaine. Definitely more my thing. I also like hearts of romaine. I just really like the plain bagged salad because then you can like add whatever you want. And these are bigger pieces that I feel like are easier to eat. And the other ones have a lot of like cabbage, which I feel like is just like filler. I don't know, this is more my jam. We eat these a lot too for like chicken salads for dinner. So we typically go through a lot of these, but I didn't want to get too many just because I know I picked up a lot of food and I don't want anything to go bad. From Fresh Fields, I picked up one red onion, really easy to use for like eggs in the morning. Also picked up two things of these Brussels sprouts. I feel like these are a pretty good deal. They're $4 for each of these and we just love to cook them in the air fryer. If you guys have seen any of my other grocery hauls, I always talk about my air fried Brussels sprouts. They are delicious, so I wanted to pick up two of these since we have a lot of chicken. We'll be having a lot of chicken dinners coming up in the future, and I wanted to get these to have as a side. The last vegetable I picked up was actually this. I'm really excited about it. It's a spaghetti squash. I've never had spaghetti squash before, but I always hear people say really good things about it, so I wanted to kind of take my own crack at it just you know, as like a low carb pasta type option. Really wanna try it. If you have any recommendations on like how to cook it, please let me know down below because I am clueless. I'm just gonna end up Googling, but it seems simple enough and it looks pretty good. So I thought maybe just get one to try and we could have it as a side with one of our dinners just to test it out. Okay, making our way through it, moving on to fruits. I kinda got a good amount of fruit. It's the summer, so huge fruit kick right now, especially watermelon. Picked up this pack of lemons. I think I showed you this in the store. This is such a good deal, six lemons for $2, so I couldn't pass that up. Also grabbed five lemons for like a dollar, I think. It was like 10 for $3. Definitely don't need 10 limes. So I just got five for, I think, $1.50. Just checked in the fridge, and we probably didn't need those, but... It's fine, they'll all get used. All right, we're definitely stocked up now. I put the older ones on the top, but you can definitely tell some of the lemons. One of them has actually already turned, so I'm gonna go ahead and trash those, but we're gonna be drinking a lot of lemon water or margaritas over the next few days, or both. As I mentioned, I am on a huge watermelon kick right now. Oh my gosh, so I got a half a watermelon. I was gonna get a whole one, but then, I don't know, I was just stressed about like if it wasn't good on the inside, I would've been upset. So they had these half ones, which were actually half the price. So I got this one, which looks pretty good, and then I went to Publix, and their watermelon chunks were BOGO. So I just got one, or like one and one free of their watermelon chunks, just a small one. If I had known that that was free, I probably would've just gotten like two of the big ones there, but this is still a really good deal, and I can easily cut it up and put it in one of our containers and put it in the fridge but yeah I'm obsessed with watermelon right now literally Brian and I would sit down and eat both of these in like five minutes so it's just so good right now because it's the summer and when it's cold 
I can't wait to eat that later. Freshfields has a really good deal on berries as well. So I got two things of blueberries and two things of raspberries. I'm not a big berry fan, but Brian loves it like in his yogurt and stuff to make parfaits. So I wanted to pick up two of each of those for him. I also picked up four gala apples, I think. They're either gala or Fuji. Picked up four of those. Those are like the two that we like. I love Macintosh apples. That's like a very Northeast type of apple though. And they're normally not good by the time they get to Florida. But when I'm home, I love to eat Macintosh apples. But yeah, so I got four gala apples. Last thing I grabbed for produce was a bunch of bananas. I go through these like phases where like I don't really want to eat bananas, but right now I'm in a phase where I love bananas. So I grabbed a bunch of bananas. These are like smaller bananas. Sometimes I feel like they're massive. This could go in a wrong direction, but you know what I mean? But I picked out some moderately sized bananas. Alrighty, now we're moving into packaged foods. So I got a couple bags of like chips and stuff that was BOGO. We are obsessed with these Ritz toasted crackers, the multi-grain ones. These can be hard to find sometimes, but they are on BOGO at Publix a lot. So I got this flavor and then a flavor that I don't think we've tried. I grabbed these veggie ones. These also looked multi-grain and these are really, really good to eat with like cream cheese or like some sort of like ranch dip. These are very tasty. So I grabbed these so we would have something to just nibble on over the next few days. I just love like snacky crackers and chips and stuff and then I'm also right now obsessed with boom chicka pop and this is like the sweet and salty kettle corn one this is so 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 delicious but I love this one so much that I wanted to try another kind that they have so I also grabbed this white cheddar one hoping it kind of tastes like smart food I don't know I hope it's good for those 8 million yogurts that I bought I grabbed a thing of granola this one is my favorite this is the peanut butter one the brand is back to nature this peanut butter granola is so so good so I decided to pick this up I love finding this on BOGO sometimes it's BOGO at Publix and I'll buy like four bags just to stock up because it is pretty expensive wasn't on BOGO this week so I just picked up one bag as for breads I picked up our fave which is the Dave's killer bread this is the 21 whole grain one it's super good and then I picked up a thing of whole we English muffins these are also our favorite we have been obsessed with English muffins lately okay now for some more like general pantry canned type items I was thinking about making a like Mexican soup like a Mexican chicken tortilla soup so I just picked up a couple things that I thought would be really good for it so I picked up a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes with green chilies I also picked up a can of corn and a can of black beans all of these are reduced sodium I just know I'll want to add more salt to the broth anyways, so I try to buy the reduced sodium items that go in it. I don't know, we kind of like to wing it. I'll look at a recipe just to kind of get an idea, but then we'll kind of wing it, but I thought that those would be really good. And I'm gonna make a big batch of soup that will keep us full for like a few days, lunches, dinners. We both love soup, so wanted to get that to go along with it. I picked up two things of reduced sodium chicken broth. This is one of those items that was like running out of stock at the store, so pretty random, but maybe a lot of people are thinking that they want to make soup over the next few days. The only other canned items I grabbed besides for that, we do already have some. I got another big can of tuna for Brian. He likes these really big cans. And then I like this tuna. This is like the premium um, bumblebee solid white albacore. It's like the prime premium one. I don't know. This is the one my mom told me to buy. So now I'm scared to eat any other kind. And I just get it in water. It's really, really good. I like to eat mine with Miracle Whip because I grew up in a Miracle Whip house which I know is very controversial. So definitely let me know down below if you're team Miracle Whip or team Mayo. I feel like I'll be lucky if even one other person is team Miracle Whip, but please weigh in down below. A couple of jarred items I picked up. One is this salsa. Like I said, we're thinking about doing tacos, which would be perfect with these little corn taco, street taco size. They're really, really tiny. They're just white corn tortillas, but they say street tacos. So it'd be fun to do that. So I wanted to pick up some salsa. This is the desert pepper medium. Their hot salsa is actually really hot. And Brian and I love spicy food. And we typically are like, it's not hot, but that salsa is hot. So I decided to pick up the medium so that we don't burn our faces off. And then the other jarred item I picked up was this Rayo's sauce. I am a diehard Rayo's lover. This is the best marinara sauce you can get in the store. It's better than like a lot of people's homemade sauces that are their grandma's recipes. I'm sorry, I don't know what they put in here, but this is the best red sauce ever. It is expensive. This jar is huge. So for like just the two of us, this is a really big jar of sauce. 
but this is $10. So I know it's expensive. Sometimes it goes on sale at like Publix or Target. So I do try to get it then, but I just wanted to have it just in case because with the Brussels sprouts, we like to eat marinara sauce. But yeah, so I picked up this as a jarred item to have in the pantry. And then the last two items are a thing of breadcrumbs. I like the Italian seasoned ones. These are the ones my mom used growing up, so I really like these. These are good to throw on like the little chicken tenders I was describing or toss the Brussels sprouts in before you put them in the air fryer to make them a little bit crispy. And they already have really good flavor packed into them. And then we were out of pepper, so I grabbed some pepper. I also grabbed about a million cases of bubbly. Your well, you, the camera, is stacked on three cases of bubbly and we have more down in the garage. It's BOGO, we try to wait for that sale every single month and then stock up, like I said, we love it. So I got a whole bunch of bubbly. Well, that is everything that I got today, grocery shopping, I spent a total of right around exactly $200. I spent $60 at Fresh Field, I spent $30 on the produce side, and then another $30 on the meat side, and then I spent $140 at Publix. So I feel like I honestly got a ton of food. It definitely would have been a little bit cheaper had I gone maybe to Aldi, or if I did end up going to Walmart, ended up picking up more stuff at Publix than I thought. But I really do feel like I stuck to the sales and I got what we, went there for maybe a couple extras like the boom chicka pop but i really do feel like we are prepared now with enough food to get us through the next few days just in case the storm you know ends up veering right and we get more weather than we thought like not just rain but heavy winds we are up on the fourth floor of our apartment building so the storms feel pretty intense up here if you're interested in seeing updates about the hurricane on my instagram story i'll probably post like pictures of the rain or if it gets pretty crazy definitely follow me on instagram at katie vining but that is gonna be it for me definitely let me know down below if you like seeing a hurricane prep like grocery haul it'd be really awesome to have your feedback on that i just thought it'd be kind of fun and also too because we just got back from a trip we just needed a lot of food but that is going to be it for me if you haven't yet please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet and i will see you next time bye guys